Hi there guys, Bioinformatics guy here and welcome to another video of the series Machine Learning in Bioinformatics. In this video, we will be talking about defining the features and the labels. So what are features and what are labels? So let me try to explain it with an example from your daily life. If you ever get flu, you see that you have a running nose, you also get sore throat and sometimes your temperature is also higher than the normal body temperature. These three are the descriptive attributes. So if you see these three attributes, you can easily predict that you are going to get flu really soon. By the same token, in the data, there are a few descriptive attributes and there is one thing that we are trying to predict. So let's get started. So it totally depends upon us what we are what we want to predict. We can predict any column from this. But since we are doing the binary classification, we will choose a column in which there are only two different values and that is this class column. So the class is going to be the label. And let's see what are going to be our features. So you can see that these nine columns have different values and they are defining that whether a class is going to be benign or malignant. So we can simply choose these nine columns as our features and the last column of class as our labels. So let's start writing our code. Scikit-learn mostly works with the NumPy array. So we have to import the NumPy library. And if you have watched my first video, you already have installed all the required libraries that are needed for the series. So import as NP. Now, in machine learning, the features are mostly represented by a capital X. So capital X will be NP dot array. And we already know that in the features, the class label is not going to be included. So we have to drop the class label and the axis is going to be 1 all right let's print x and see how it looks oh what is the problem oh x is supposed to be capital so this is our x it is not going to make any sense because now it's in an umpire array but we can see that the class label is not here next is we have to define the labels in machine learning the labels are mostly defined by the small y so y is np dot Array. So we only have to select the class column here. We can print Y and see how it looks. So you can see that these are all the ones and zeros that are uh, that are present in our class. So that's all for this video. The next video is going to be really interesting. In the next video, we will be training and testing the models. So do subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you around in the next video.